Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm playing High Fleet. It's a very cool, uh, sort of interesting game. Where you basically play as a, uh, a Tarkan slash fleet commander. Let me just change my uh, thing over because this isn't picking it up. There we go. Now will it work? There we go, that's better. Yeah, and it's uh you play these uh you play as these methane fueled uh sort of combat airships. Uh very cool, very aesthetic and very strange and difficult. Uh, I'm gonna play with the prologue, just so people can kinda see the storyline if you haven't heard of High Fleet or you haven't played it before. Uh Sith Tazintak does a really good video on it. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump straight in. So we're gonna go talk to Prince Eliao Fazil, I think. Let's move does it briefly. Yes. Does it there we go. Unlock does it. Let's just move over here a little bit. Because then people can read. Turn down the game sound a little bit. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, let's go like there. I've played this a little bit before, but I've never gone very far, so I have very little time in High Fleet, so apologies if I'm incompetent. <laughs> Let's land the big boy. Landing's kind of like a mini game where basically you can land at different pads for like better repair and stuff. Um, this this particular ship is not damaged, so I'm not going to bother like landing anywhere fancy. If you look down the bottom, you can see different like percentages or like different numbers. The higher the number, the more repair bonus you get. So like it'd be better for me to land like the 28s rather than like the five. But at the moment, I have no nothing to repair, so it doesn't matter. Seems I've met the prince.
The Tarkans are like uh, generals, I believe. Yeah, it's like an officer. So it commands a, uh, a fleet squadron. I really like the aesthetic of this game. It's obviously got like a lot of um, sort of Middle Eastern culture influence. It's got a very kind of like Dune vibe as well. I mean, even the little nostril things you'll see in the main characters look a lot like Dune, like still suits. So I think the developer is clearly inspired by like modern war and um, Dune, and like it's quite a, it's quite a, it's a very cool aesthetic, a really cool like world building for a small indie game. And as you can see, it's just it's a very unique aesthetic. Speeding up time to get to the next uh, city. Right, I assume we're gonna have a bit of a scrap. some of those inf incendiary rounds though. So now you get to see the uh, actual combat. Hello. Hello. Uh, the fleet is high because they keep doing uh, strange drugs.
No, I definitely need to repair this lip boy. Well, apparently not. Fire reverse thrusters. Now, this might be where we try and go for something a bit more. Try and go for that dirty pad. It's a bit of a tricky mini game because you gotta like control like roll meters. and descend right and stuff like that. And it's a little hard when they're so heavy. 100 meters, everyone get ready. I'll take the lock. Yeah, it's very like, I, it gets kind of a similar vibe. I really like the, I don't know if you call it like hard sci-fi or like Cold War punk or something, but like I really like the the UI and how like rough everything feels. Like everything's clunky and hot and like, you know, things of like, you know, like a T-72 or something or like a, a hind. It's got very like Soviet looking tech. get like a sci-fi story slash world so it's it's cool i really like that aesthetic
have fun with the game. I'm gonna go walk around. All right. Take care. Mm, bye. Bye. Yeah, it's like not quite diesel punk. I don't know what you'd call it. Heaven, but I basically had no uh, simian, no ammo or something. I don't know. I think I could have. I think I fucked up. I could have probably. Uh, what's it called? Retreated instead of uh, evacuate. That's right. You live and you learn. Again, those are like different things. This is basically like a um, little mini game to gain like allies. Not bad, not bad. Three stars. That's all right. It's a fry. French is fry. Hello. It's 
take a look at this. I get beetle vibes from that ship design. Yeah. the progress so far pretty good i'm just doing like the prologue at the moment so it's pretty straightforward cool cool Too hot. Yeah, I got hit pretty hard just then. The enemy has been destroyed. We did it. Oh, that's another missile. <laughs> I need repairs. Again. 
We did it. <laughs> like a globe. <laughs> I'm glad we had the uh, extra bonus prepare for that, because that would have been a pain in the ass. ship's doing in the background, but we'll just ignore that. I don't know what it's like breathing through your nose on that thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just nice air. Yeah. It's pr probably not comfy. No, probably not. Should absolutely nuke the first chance you get. No. <laughs> Seth was uh, completely bullshitting you. Nothing bad will happen. Just watching people breathe through very uncomfortable things through their nose. Why? Because it's funny. Looking. And just pleading with those to use a nuke. Because nothing bad will happen. Final approach. 
Okay, go on the pi five 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 again. I'm gonna try. Just because it does speed up yeah. Okay, see what we can. This is a little shit. It's probably gonna be a lot easier to maneuver. And uh get in the pipe, as it were. I got on the pipe, but it didn't do so good. <laughs> Task failed successfully. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know if I have enough fuel to get there. Might have overdone it with the old uh, missiles, honestly. <laughs> there we go, I got a spare missile I can sell. Still won't quite get me there. Alright, let's sell one of these boys. Pull up a chair. Yeah. Already in a chair. <laughs> Pull up a second chair. Make sure that, make sure that you're sitting wrong on the chair to show how cool you are. Besides that garlic more jocks when it goes down.
time with things. Did it, but at what cost? Everything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, is that your crew dead and escaped, or just total overall, or just the enemies? I think it's me, specifically, yeah. God, you fucking losing hell of people every fight. I don't know how well this is going to go considering I have one landing gear. might do instead is use this bit to like prop up the ship.
Gonna seize the reactor. And Kiva. That face when the Grand Duke gets to lead the fleet. Oh hell yeah. And now the game begins. <laughs> Boys, we gotta pick our fleet for the campaign. There you go, I go for the Skylark, look at that dumb fuck. <laughs> I think it's a tanker ship, so yeah. <laughs> Might take two of those actually, because I wanna do two strike groups. I've heard the lightning's good just because it's fast and nasty. So I might do some of those as well. We got seventy six thousand left. Papasco's demanding war tactics. <laughs> Should I just go more lightnings then? So I can take like three more. I can take two more. Got enough for another tanker. So I can make three strike groups with two lightnings each and fuel support. Hell yeah. The fleet. Right. 
Well, I think the plan is to head west and try and find Omar. And also, I think I'm going to split my fleet up into, like, three components, basically. Like, hide the Sevastopol, because you got to keep your flagship alive to, like, win the campaign. And then I'm going to basically use the rest of the ships to scout and do stuff, if that makes sense. And three, yeah, three, take the Skylarks and do, like, three components. Now, the issue is, I don't think I have a lot of money, so, yeah, I can't get a lot of... Petroleum. <laughs> Alright, I got a loan from Prince Fazil, but he only can give us two favours, or he hates us. So. I don't want to do that too often. I'm going to spend all of it on fuel, Lamar. I'm going to turn our radar off as well because we don't want to be uh, caught early. Gotta get out of here. It's now officially dangerous, apparently. So I think we go and loiter out here in like the desert. Heck, yo, you're dangerous. <laughs> Let's take Lightning Lightning Skylark. We can do a sudden strike probability is 99%, so as long as we keep our radio radar off, I mean. We could maybe do a couple of things. I want to take Gizran for cheaper fuel. But I also want to take Haran for yeah, modules. How do I do this? I just want to send two lightnings and a skylark. Oh, that's right. Okay, I forgot. You get a left click, not right click. Order to confirm. We are headed to the objective now. Cool, there we go. Come back in one piece. And then I want to send another two lightnings and a skylark to Haran, and we'll hit them simultaneously.
First battle of the campaign. There we go. Oh nice, we did a sudden strike. Have better numbers than you. The enemy has been destroyed. Uh... Okay, I got them on fire. They're burning. Yo, the burning, the burning, the one hit. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. They're here. Three guys in my ass. Secure the ammunition and the fuel so it doesn't fucking explode. Oh, this is that other battle, the other town.
meters. 300 meters. Talk in here. Yeah? <laughs> oh, it's the guy we were talking about. Nice, we got a new ship and he's joined our cause. Hey, look at you. Why does he look like the base image? <laughs> Omar. Like, I'm not the only one who saw Omar look like the fucking Giga Chat meme, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he definitely does. Everything's covered in fucking missiles. Armor piercing a serenade over hounds is perfectly legal. Fuck, what did I just do? Uh. I don't know what I just did, but I fucked up. Let's go. I don't quite understand why my supplies are free, but I'm not complaining. Uh, and let's go. You might be in a loyalist territory or some shit. Hmm. 
I think I'll buy fuel here and then link back up with the the group, I guess. And that will allow me to do the thing. Okay, you go there. And you also link up with them. There's a Tarkan north of here. Hmm. You go to like there, I think, and then raid what? Samra? Probably the best bit, right? I think I don't think we can go much further than Samra. I want seeing the We did just get that new paladin, I wonder if we sent that two 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 four one one. It's probably a bit slow actually. Mm, it's a good stretch so far, let's just keep doing the lightnings and a skylight. I don't think we even need to.
I've obtained a gold elephant. another tuck in here. But first, repairs. I don't know why these repairs keep being free. Maybe it's just because I've got enough, like, spare gear or something? Or they're not, like, damage damaged enough? Well, I didn't go so well, but that's fine. Easier way to tell if something's damaged. So I can't tell. Just looking at it. Okay, radar station or whatever that is. Reinforcements, okay. I think we should go for the radar station, maybe, to get some enemy intel. Thoughts, gentlemen? <laughs> intel, baby. Alright. 
Might first, well. we have to refuel. Is there an easy way to tell when it's going to be dangerous? I'm assuming it's the yellow line encroaching in. I don't quite know why the refueling is taking so long. Oh, radio signal. Yo, Jake has the Aries symbol for his uh, YouTube profile picture. Nice. I know it's dangerous, but I kind of have to refuel, so I'm just gonna do it and pray that I don't get found by a strike group. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh... Yeah. But I'm the strike group, and I'm coming. Might be better to bug out, actually. Because we're detecting a hostile signal, like, off in this direction somewhere. assume out there somewhere a little bit hmm I'm gonna move I think because I do not want to be found by a strike group Just in range of Osh, but we also have a hostile boy coming in from the do east, basically. And I think he's probably going to be heading to Samra. So I'm hoping that my radar cross section is low enough with the radar off and us landed to avoid him. Yeah, 
it's like due east right now. Hmm. It's close. England to means it's very close. Okay, I got further away. I think it just passed by us to the east. <laughs> that strike group. <laughs> I don't dare putting my radar on when they're this close. I'll wait till that Aeland uh, alarm goes off, basically. I don't know how they how long they loiter in an area. So I think the enemy is called Tarek, or like strike group Tarek, so I might put that in my notes somewhere. So apparently in this game it's useful to take notes of uh, strike groups and stuff. Indeed. And like their code names, so that uh, if you intercept them later and like kill them, then like if you try and decode messages later, you know it's not Tarek. You know, it's not one of the ones to try. Okay. Hmm. But Elin's still pretty close. So I'm like... Hmm. Little concerning. Little concerning. Yeah, they're like lurking down here somewhere in the bottom like they're down they were like near me so i reckon they probably went to like sharahan i don't know exactly where they are but i'm assuming it's around there so the eland is basically like passive investigation it's uh like you'll get you'll pick up on enemy radar without them seeing you or if i had my radar on they could home in on my radar with their eland if that makes sense so i do not want to alert them okay it's gone plain so i want to try and take out osh without um them knowing i'm here basically Oh god, we got a heavy kind of missile gumbo in this one. This might prove quite difficult.
Oh shit. Yeah, I gotta retreat from this one. This is a tank hit. Ooh, Lamar. Attention. Visual contact. Ah, shit. Language, young man. That ship's fucking domes, so I'm just gonna leave that there and hope that I can hide under detection again. Radar emission detected. There's that Elans again. <laughs> Sorry, but you all are fucked. Goodbye. I might have you. doomed my campaign, I'm just out of fuel to get there. Oh. It's like, look, look at that tiny little edge. That's my fuel range, that blue line. There's the city. <laughs> oh, you can't milk it. Fuck it, I'm turning on my radar, I'm firing nukes. This campaign's doomed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate war, dude. I'm, I'm not gonna win war crime. The last <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> Come on then, you bastard. <laughs> Literally just said fuck it. Kill them all. Daddy, <laughs> why did Grandpa commit war crimes? Because he was out of fuel. <laughs> and it was funny. Why is he seen as a monster? <laughs> he nuked an orphanage. I'm gonna fire a missile like this way. And don't tell anyone I said this, but it was kind of based. I'm not gonna lie. Do you have just one nuke, or do you have multiple? Oh. Fire them all. <laughs> I think I missed. I'm waiting for an actual, like, radar contact. Oh, 
surface. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I don't know what to do now, because I can't get there, I don't think. I mean, might as well just fly towards the city until, uh, you fall on crash. Who knows, you might get some help. Very, very lucky. Now we're like, stop just outside of town. Cries. <laughs> They're like, no, you cannot enter town. You are full. Yeah, I don't know what you do here. Can you, like... I assume you can't. He can give morale. He can give money. He can give intel. He can... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think anyone can actually, like... Give me fuel. Well, I haven't met the guy who can give me fuel yet. So, I think I'm just fucked. <laughs> I think we just fight our last stand, basically. Might Rip. as well turn the radar on and come. Strike force coming. Now, will he nuke us or will he come in for a combat? Combat, it would seem. I'm gonna have to just. I'm gonna dump all my missiles with this paladin and then, like, try and whittle them down before the Sylvester Pole. Oh, is that a note?
with mobility and the fact that he can't shoot his friend for his ally. then One, uh, water. I need those fuel tanks. ASAP. Please don't blow up, Emil. <laughs> hey, now we have fuel to head into town. Probably. Yay! And all it took was nuclear war to start. <laughs> It's very heavy and fat. So, Sylvester Ball has lived at the cost of every other ship I owned. <laughs> you don't need ships. 300 meters. So how are you guys? Not too bad, just so. Yeah. I'm comfy, getting checked in. 
I don't like that I'm, I'm just hearing explosion noises in the background. Kablooey. Low G is to be rotated until dead. No. Right. How much money do I even have? Like none? Question, can you do a city? Yeah. Oh. You should do that. Oh, okay, I'm dead apparently. For funsies. The campaign's what? over. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the bridge died in the background during the city scene. <laughs> like it was on fire and uh he just popped finally. Yeah. It's cool though, uh, every time you fail, you get like a bonus for the next campaign. Ah, so yeah. It's actually got a really cool ship editor as well, where you can make your own ships, but I'm not very good at it yet. Uh, I made this horrible thing the other day. And it, uh, it's slow and shit. <laughs> I'll show you. See, the issue is I want to talk to Dozette, but I also want to see what Dozette is doing. Look at the silly cubes oh, right here. line for me every time. This is my first ship I've designed. Didn't actually do too bad there. Uh, but yeah, it's not great. Like, it's not very well optimized. It's very slow and shitty and it's got bad range. Uh, I should put some flares on it while I remember. I can't use flares because it's so exposed. I don't know what's going on there, but it's definitely attached. <laughs>
Hmm. Let's go Flizz now. I put the maneuvering thrusters like to interior so it doesn't like maneuver very well. And doesn't have enough like oomph I don't think to be fast. So it's kind of just like a fat, a fat tub. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a slightly higher difficulty. Piss it up. Oh god. Yeah, that's too many. Fuck. and it's still, the missile still hit me. Fucking rockets hit like a truck. <laughs> All right, I think it's time for a new, a new, a new ship. What should we design, boys? I don't hmm. know. What should you design? Should we do like an aircraft carrier, or should we do like a capital ship, or like a? Are, are you able to have smaller craft like yep. a carrier? Yep, you got aircraft. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Carrier fleet, let's go. Yeah. Okay, so... Fucking, I love carriers. Fucking, my... Most of the time, my builds on Solaris is just carrier fleets. <laughs> we'll drown the enemy in fighters. I think maybe building, like, a... Central kind of, like... You know how you got, like, the island on aircraft carriers? Yeah. I think maybe we do like a central core like that with like armor for the, the bridge. Because the bridge is the thing we probably need to armor the most, then like ammo, then fuel. Everything else can be like less protected. Gotcha, gotcha. So I think how building like a central island like this. And then, I don't know how, can I put the flight deck down here? No, it has to be on the top. Okay, so it has to like come out the side. Should we like the flight deck like starting like there? Uh. And we just have like two sections of flight deck. Okay, I see. Do we need a running start or no? No, no, no. They, they just they just fly off. Okay. Only uh, four fighters. No, I was gonna do more. I just wanted to put more flight deck in. Okay. Yeah, to have like a an upper like... flight deck and a lower flight deck for both sides. I would say. Oh, okay. Like, I see what you're saying. Like up here. Uh, probably below the the current one. Since there's more room. Like that? No, no, no. Bel below the current flight deck. Because so, so, there's just more room there to do so. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Below the current flight deck, right? Yeah. Well, the stream's delayed for me, so. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah.
Uh, might be a bitch to fucking land after the battle for the lower one. It's just this 12 of these aircraft is pretty powerful. I think the aircraft carrier they like start you with has got like four or six. So 12 is pretty is good. Only fighters or is there bombers too? Or... No, there's like there's like they're like fighter bombers slash interceptors, but you basically got like two kinds, and apparently the LA 29 is just shit. Like you should always pretty much use the T7s when you can. They're not much okay. more, and they're just like infinitely better in almost everywhere. Apparently. Okay. I don't know for sure. I'm still pretty new to this, but yeah. That's fair. All right. I think you uh, have enough uh, fighters. All right. Now should we build like some superstructure? I think. Yeah. I won't build be much help because I, I don't know how shit this guy is on here because I never played it. Basically thinking, like, we leave the flat deck at the top, like... We can actually build a roof for the flat deck and then armor it. So it's like, it's like... Internal bays, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Like, in, have you ever played, uh, Star Fox 64? Uh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, neither. Yeah. Okay, we got a big funny box. And we've got the hull nice and, I mean the, what's it called? The bridge nice and central. Uh, Are you able to have like a uh, hangar doors for those flight decks? No, not really. Damn. All right, now we need basically Ammo, crew, vet pods, fuel, uh, thrusters, like all that shit. I think I need large hull parts to mount the big engines, so I think I might do that. Actually, I might get rid of some of these. Uh, let's get rid of, like, these four. Put in large hulls instead. Which means we can mount these big, uh, fixed propulsion engines just for vertical thrust. Basically, fixed propulsion is just for getting you off the ground and, like, staying in the air. And then you want, like, gimbaling engines for rotational, you know, stuff. Yeah. Like, roll and, uh, lift and right. Roll and strafing. So I've got a decent power there. Hmm. Pretty much already out of, like, space to place stuff. So it's kind of like, what do we do? Like, where do we put everything? <laughs> yeah. It's the hard part. I don't know how big you can make it. Oh, you can make them pretty fucking huge, I think. Alright, uh, there, yeah, then I don't know how big you can uh, make it towards optimal. Because the ship's too big, and I'm waiting for the, uh, some mighty big problems. Yeah. For example, a bigger fucking target. <laughs> I wonder if we put, like, a pod up here by the flight, like, see with, like, the flight deck ends, right? I wonder if we put, like, up here, like, one of the engines, like, the maneuvering engines? Mm -hmm. And then we build, like, a superstructure on top of this? It's a bit weird. It's like the low, the low flight deck build, but. <laughs> like that? Like you basically have like your roll and pitch and like a sideways movement controlled by like the top end? Just pray uh, you're not maneuvering when one needs to take off or land. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to call this the hammerhead because it looks silly. <laughs> Um, okay, we need a fuckload of fuel, so... Oh, where do I put this with it? It's not gonna be, like, an issue, though. I guess we have to put it, like, here, at the top, and then just, like, armor the sides. 
It's already gonna be so goofy. I like this, like when you use two of the same part, like if it's fuel tanks, they're like adaptive. They'll make them like look longer. That's a nice touch. Yeah. We've got a 2,000 kilometer range. Let's make that a little bit bigger. We're in like three of these each side. Hmm. Okay, now we need ammo for the fighters. Luckily, these we can build internally. Um, I guess like here, like above the bridge, but below the fuel tanks. In inside the center. And then maybe some down the bottom here. And then we'll just arm in the bottom a little bit. And yeah, hopefully bullets won't get all the way through the hangar. <laughs> they will. Princesses. <laughs> hmm. Okay, now I need generators. This can kind of just go anywhere. It doesn't matter too much. There we go. Uh, now we need crew. <laughs> Pull them right into the ammo. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them near the bridge, and then we still need. Okay, now I need more power. Now I need evac pods. Can I just put the evac pods here? No. I can put them at the bottom. But I was going to armor that actually a little bit. Might have to find somewhere else for the evac pods later. Oh, actually, can we just put like... Can we just extend the flight deck out a little bit and put all the evac pods there? Yes, we can. God, there's only like 50% of them. Uh, fuck. We can't, we can't put them here now, because the EV pods. Really? <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe some sort of, like, weird structure like that. It's gonna be uh, weird. To, I was gonna say it's gonna be weird to land this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that even pod's gonna have a bad time. Just right through like the plume of the engine. <laughs> okay, we got eighty-seven percent of the crew have got evac pods. Okay, there we go. We've got enough evac pods now. We've got enough ammo for the for the aircraft. Now we probably need to do some armor. I was thinking of just putting like literally a big piece like in here, just to like protect the ammo. We could go further and protect the evac pods as well, but I think we'll just do it like that, like in here. So like something will get through this little evo pod structure potentially but then it will hit the armor before it goes to like the ammo get, get. oh cool i can't put armor in here in the flight like hanger keep that hanger piece oh that ammo piece at least hmm okay top piece <laughs> I'm wondering if we just like reinforce hull the sides a bit around the engines and then build like a cowl over the top of this. And 
then we can put we can also use these to build out the uh like landing gear. Why is that pod fine, but that one's gonna hit the other module? I don't know. I'm gonna relocate these uh these things over here. Okay, we can come up with more evac pods later. Do we just put the landing gear, like, down here somewhere? Like there, and then like down to like here, and then like claws? Hold on, I gotta wait till the start being delayed. It's kind of hard to judge where to put the landing gear, honestly. I was thinking like that, like literally just like, boom and then boom. Like two points of articulation. Gotcha, gotcha. And then down the bottom we can do like some little claws for it. To spread the weight. I don't know if, if maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but it doesn't look like the bottom landing gear is uh, connected to the uh, top one. Oh, the one over here? Hold on. I'll wait till it updates. No. It's, it's for both. Yeah, I don't think, I don't like, think it matters. Like, the, the, the depth of vehicles in this is a little weird. <laughs> little scuffed okay like it is connected otherwise this wouldn't have the like wiring connection if you if you know what i mean from the generator it's a bit weird looking but yeah it, it is working as intended okay. <laughs> fuck this thing looks ugly <laughs> <laughs> like it's so capable like, well it's not capable i don't know that yet but like it's got 12 fighters which is pretty nuts like compared to the aircraft carriers i've seen but then at the same time it's so like big uh, I'm gonna just test landing without like adding anything else to it yet. Alright. Fire reverse thrusters. Oh, it's so chunky. Beginning tunnel approach. Look at that fucking thing. It's big. It's <laughs> a lot of engines, holy shit. Yeah, it doesn't exactly slow on a dime, so. <laughs> Six of the engines are just, it's like vertical engines. Yeah, I don't think you're getting to that 60. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a bit optimistic. 
I mean, hell, even this big tin pad's like very narrow. I'm going to try and widget in here. 100 meters. Everyone get ready. Somehow. Touchdown confirmed. Landing complete. So I can land. <laughs> Look how big that fucking thing is. That's evil Christ. looking. Looks cool though. I must say I like it. Like. The hammerhead. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go like out of here and up and over to make like more structure for stuff to be placed. I mean, hell, maybe we do two engines? Like two maneuvering engines? Christ. She can fit another. <laughs> well, I think they can stack like this. Okay, they can't, they're too close. Maybe a third there, in the middle? Yes, I can put one in the middle. Some more little escape pods there. And now, hmm. I kind of wish there was like a mirror mode in this game. That would be very helpful for the shipbuilder. Thing is they're relatively symmetrical craft anyway. Alright, we've got our weird superstructure. <laughs> I'll leave that open for now because I might put some more fuel in. Okay, not bad, not bad. Uh, we got we got basically everything we need. Now it's a matter of like stuff we want. I kind of think it'd be cool to have some like radar detection stuff. Probably be a good idea. Oh, and I did want to up armor the uh, sides up here a bit more, like the fuel sides. That should help with the fuel from like weird oblique angles. And then maybe like a little tower for radar and stuff. Looks so dippy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, sensors. Uh, we want the big the penis on top. The big radar. Look at the big penis, little showed on top, and the two balls on the left and right. I can't believe you'd say that. Uh, and then we want a. So we've got, we've got radar, we want a lint.
Okay, I was just gonna do like... Okay, I, re I read apparently you need to do it like this. You need to like, if you're blocking one side of the detection, what you can do is place like another one of the same kind on the other side. And that'll like okay. give you full 360 coverage. Okay. Uh, so we've got, we've got radar, we've got Eland. We now need, um, if we're going to add missiles, we need to do fire control radars. Uh, we also need... Probably a radio antenna and probably infrared. The infrared I might put on the bottom if I can. Because it apparently can get like a bit of a sense of seat sweep already. So I don't want all the eggs in the basket of uh, upstairs, if you know what I mean. Yeah. What's wrong with that thing? What's it saying? Electricity, oh, okay. Ah, uh, so, okay, so it can't go through because the power of the armor. So let's go like that. God damn it, we have to do a little, a little dick here, aren't we? We've got our little uh, infrared search and track system. Now we need some radio antennas. Which I might just be able to stick like down here. No, apparently not. Um. I put them like here, like inside. Is that fine? Apparently that's fine. <laughs> or can I do like a little... Ah, uh, the game's not letting me do stuff now. That's not good. Like something about what I did just then just is like broken the mouse. <laughs> hmm. Wait, did they fix it? Yeah, cool, they fixed it. Uh I wanna do like a little just a little a little piece off here for some uh That's beautiful. <laughs> uh, now apparently we need more power. Because of course we did. Alright, I think technically we've got everything we would need. Oh, we probably need some flares. For when those inevitable fucking missiles come. <laughs> Do we, do we need, I mean, we could add guns and rockets and stuff, but like, I guess it's more what the planes are for. We could add some like point defense weapons though. I don't know.
I'm gonna try a fight and Oh you know what? I forgot to go I forgot to add fire protection systems. Which is bad, because that will be the death of us. <laughs> <laughs> Eight charges, do you reckon? Or maybe more? Maybe ten. Sounds like you already made your mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Uh, oh, you know what? I want to. Uh, okay, now I can test. I can't remember how you release aircraft in, in combat. Oh, there we go. X, apparently. Got my prissies. anything just just the battle's so loud but after the battle I'll I'll, I'll hear what you said <laughs> I have a uh, idea for ship design. Oh yeah. So, one, make it longer. <laughs> the same ship or want... new ship? <laughs> same ship. Because okay. you're gonna want more fighters, so longer. However, uh, just armor the fuck out of the bottom. Because the strategy here would be maintain um. Uh, your height with your enemies. Okay. So basically, just a larger swarm of jets, and again, objectives survive, uh, but with a heavily armored bottom. Okay. Hmm, I'm wondering how to do it. Just like push this out, I think, these side boots. Problem is, it's very hard to armor the bottom when there's engines there. <laughs> I could armor the bottom yeah. like here, but then I can't armor like under these engines, then it'd be out of thrust. Or do they?
Yes, apparently they do. <laughs> Like, I can extend it out and then arm at the bottom of whatever I extend it out. You know what I mean? Like, here? Or I could, like, make the engines out on the edge and then arm at the middle bottom. Perhaps have a, like, a little blank... Mm. I don't know if this would work, but perhaps a blank space in the bottom? Uh, for thrusters, and then just armor under that uh, after a little bit, after a little bit of clearing. I like go lower for for a little bit, and then see if that like works. Yeah, kind of like that. Like saving, like saving is still thrust. Well, I'll, I'd say a little lo lower than that. Oh, I'll wait till this thing updates real quick. Yeah, I'm trying to find how low you need to go before it'll like stop. Blocking the engine. Oh, okay. it collapses. Okay, it seems you need to go that low before it'll stop blocking the engine. Fuck it. <laughs> See if we can do. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete the landing gear now because there's not a whole lot of point. Yeah. Just armored engines. <laughs> Alright, and then just armor the bottom, you can? <laughs> yeah. Probably a bit of the sides as well, to be honest. Wait, don't forget to make the hangers longer too, because you need more fighters. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we also need to put landing gear back in. Although now we can do them like anywhere, pretty much. It's got the funny links. It looks so dumb. I love it so much. <laughs> well, apparently those engines will work. <laughs> and then we've got funny legs. We've got the fucking... It's got an ass on it. That's for sure. Uh, what we're doing? We're gonna we're gonna build out the flat decks, aren't we? Which means we need to probably move these fucking these things. Uh, what's there? So... How far out do we go? Like two more? Yeah, jet six. Yeah. Let's 
20 fighters. And now I think we need more ammo and crew and EV pots. <laughs> Alright, well if I'm at there, so we might as well put the ammo up here. Let me don't want to put it like low. Yeah, and we've got many more power uh, and crew. So let's do crew there, crew there, uh, crew there, crew there. Okay, now more power. Let's do some more generators. One there. Oh, one was enough. And then EVA pods. I can probably put them, like, honestly, like, I can, like, what if I just put them, like, up here? Okay, they're just blocked, Dan. What if I do sideways, like here? Yeah, so technically I can fire the evac crews directly into the middle of this box. <laughs> Which is bizarre, but apparently that's fun. And since we're not really using that space for anything else important, we might as well. Because we need, like, an insane amount of fucking evac spots now. Uh, and also we've got this unarmored section, we can probably put evac pods going out there. Oh no, that's enough. Nope, wait. Mm, let's do one for just redundancy. There we go. She's beautiful. She only costs 161,000 fucking money. Oh my god. I want to see what the fucking other one costs, because I beat the Sevastopol, like the current best ship we have, like in the... Yeah, so Sevastopol is 196,000. How much was the, was the uh, Hammerhead? Pretty similar. 161,000. It's cheaper! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it's so beautiful too. Let's try it out. Fuck, I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Hear me out. So the two balls on the sides are eyes, and that big gaping hole is the mouth? It's ah, screaming? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna try a landing first, then we'll try a fight. Why have you created me, father? <laughs> <laughs> Look at those fucking legs unfold. It's beautiful. I'm gonna just straddle this fucking landing zone, I think. Oh, the leg broke. No! Oh, no! Oh, my God. a little too ambitious. Might be too heavy, might be more than Ah, that's fine, as long as the bridge doesn't block- the mud. The generator has been destroyed! Yeah, I think my stream's not a lot of time, there it is. Yep, it definitely wasn't. Let me try again with a bit of landing, and see if that was, uh, if it was the weight, or if it's just... Going too fast. Going too fast, yeah. But I did hit it going probably too fast for how big this thing is. I love how you just can't see the legs at all because there's so much fucking smoke kicked up by the fucking nine engines or whatever. 300 meters. You have a stop loop if you want. Oh, that's a be the thickness though. 100 meters. Everyone get ready. I'll get in the 42 hole as opposed to. Okay, that's how you were just going too fast. Yeah. <laughs> Stippy legs. <laughs> you can't even, like, look at- you can't even see the top of it because it's just so fucking big. Like... <laughs> Alright, so it's landable. Yeah, uh, you got the repair. <laughs>
Although I like it rewards you for getting the harder landing. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Bon -bon. <laughs> the fucking fighter battalion goes off to war. Yeah, I should have been mobile, this is just AA. Oh god, both of them's AA! They all died. Yeah, it's been destroyed. I'm also missing most of that box structure that did protect our bottom. Is that it's durable, if nothing else. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess the uh, carrier design is not going to be the greatest thing, unfortunately. Well, carriers, carriers. I I didn't want to say this because because we were being creative, but uh, carriers, you're not meant to get into combat like that. Basically, carriers are like a fleet. They're a strategic asset, so you you send the aircraft out on the map more than in the battle. To like bomb or intercept things. Um, Basically, what we saw was a uh, fuck scenario. Yeah, like it's campaign. Not, that's why we're not going to put any guns on this thing. Like it's it's really just meant to be like a, a campaign support. map support aircraft. Yeah. Okay. And then you have your little frigates and cruisers and stuff for the actual fighting, like you know this sort of thing, like the little little like missile boat with guns. All right, I'll make the. Battle cruiser from StarCraft. Oh, that's a cool idea, actually. I don't know how you'd make Gotta it make look sure good, though. The, yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> Listen, you just build the side profile. Yeah, the, 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 the battle might spawn you forwards or backwards, so you'd end up being like going backwards towards the enemy. Listen. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we could do it top down, like the front at the top, and so it looks like it's just flying, like, vertically. A JPEG flying at somebody. <laughs> yeah. How do I delete ships? POV, you didn't script armor correctly. Ba -ba 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 -go -ba. Uh, how do I delete a ship, I wonder? I don't think I can, I think I'm just stuck with two aircraft I fucked up. Cause, like, the lightning's quite a good one, apparently, and that's, like, just a quick little, like, fighter, basically. Yeah. Have you tried... Right clicking on the ships? Uh... Like in the list? Yeah, nah. Damn. I also think I could think of on how to yoink something out. I think this is also their, like, spy ship, the Vox shot. You've got, like, all the sensors. <laughs> I wonder what that does. I love Steppy. I love the Steppy legs. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think this is like what a lot of the better ships kind of go for. It's like tight little compact thing with like lots of gun. Hmm. <sighs> I might call the stream there for now, just because I think I've tired myself out of uh, 
high slate for Fuck now. Dear God, I forgot today was Monday. Fuck the Coscrops! Oh my god. <laughs> you make it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me fail successfully at my uh, campaign. I'll probably start another one, <laughs> maybe tomorrow or the next day, or some sometime next week, because of the schedule being busy. Um, yeah, I hear you. But uh, yeah, High Fleet's cool. Definitely a good game for the money. Uh, one dev apparently, so that's super crazy because it's a fucking really cool game. I hope he does more like it or wrestles as an expansion or something. Um, but yeah, play. I wish you could paint these as well. I like the construction yellow, but it would be cool. Uh, but yeah, take care. Bye. <laughs>